Two seconds. Uh, which one do we need? Which one do we need? I think it's this one. There we go. How are you doing? You're okay. Right, let's get this going. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Let's pin that. Uh, till the end. There we go. Now, that, as we talked about before, with this one, there's a limited color palette that you can do. I've pasted it on every single um, canvas thing for you. If you want to use it, it's only optional. And the prompt that we were talking about, which again is optional, we were talking about making the prompt plants so you get extra bonus points today if you draw plants in a limited color palette but like i say that's only there for people who need a prompt otherwise you can just draw whatever you dang well please Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, there they are. There's the colours, by the way. And <laughs> because, well, you know me, I'm not going to be the uh, the best at picking colours. Steph picked these for me. Oh, they look quite wintry. Yeah, they look cosy, don't they? They remind me of like Christmas and stuff. Picked them. Mm hmm. She did a dang good job, that one. How am I? It's cold. Oh my god, Yams, it's cold. 
Today was a first. We could see our breath in every room of the house. It's uh, It's been cold today. Oh, is that what you're doing? Well, you're doing a really good job. Do we not have heating? Um, well, we have a heater. Like a little space heater. A space heater. Look, I got, like, this will sound really grim, but, uh, it's like we can't... <laughs> Look, we can't afford to put it on, okay? Like, se expensive. like central heating, we can't afford to put it on. So we have like a little space heater and we put it on next to the pigs because they're in like the heat. They're like in the middle of the room anyway. So uh, we put the heating on next to them. And we just like have the room heating. Yeah, it does. Yeah, Ichak, it does. It has central heating, but um, it's too expensive for us to use. So we just tend to leave it off. Yeah, even like with just the heater thing, it's costing us like it's expensive, yeah. It's cost like a hundred or something a month, yeah. You was warm today. <gasps> Good. Well, I'm glad that you guys are. But it definitely helps, like, uh, just not thinking about it. <laughs> but, uh, Steph could see her breath, like, sat at her computer, and I was like, oh, jeez. Like, at the minute, Steph's covered in how many? One, two, three. She's got three blankets on, a dressing gown, and PJs, and a hat. <laughs> and a woolly hat. That's how many layers she's got on right now. Is cold. Do, 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 do. Love that for her. Yeah, she's nice and cozy. Ba, 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 ba. You're a hoodie and electric hair shadow. <laughs> it's literally I'm wearing a hoodie as well. We're literally like doing we're doing like the same thing. <laughs> right. I should draw some. Thing too. And again, like I say, the prompt and the palette's there for you. Don't feel pressured if you're struggling with it. You can always draw what you're comfortable with if you're struggling, so no pressure. You're confused, bro. You know? Oh, it takes a it takes a minute to like get used to it though. You're not <laughs> just take your time. And the cause? I don't even know what that is, Ray. What is that? Oh, Bubble Bird. Well, I, it's nice to see you. I hope you had a nice birthday. Oh, a clay body sculpture. Ooh, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, go, go for it. Oh, CMJ floor heating? That's, that actually sounds awesome. Oh, the lyric's not here. Thank you for the follow. How are you? What have we been up to? Well, we've been filming some footage for the video for this week, Sophia. I made yeah, Steph made, Steph made a thumbnail. She made a thumbnail and uh, a live stream go up. I finally scanned in all of the dogs with jobs. Yeah, you've done that, 
that's ready for me to start inking digitally. I'll try not to procrastinate too much on that. I'll probably start now. They're all there, and I know they're all there. I'll probably get on that tomorrow. I don't like using the scanner. It's boring, but it's done now. That's the main thing. I just, I just sat there and I was like, I'm not gonna get up until I've done them all. So they're all in. They're all ready to go. We've also found, uh, well, there's two, but I've only found one so far. These uh, little wooden birdhouses, and it's the ones that you decorate yourself. And it was a video idea that we had very close to when we got the eviction notice in the old place. So this week we'd like to maybe decorate them like Christmassy with the with the simp tapped pens, and uh, do do that for the video as well. So I've dug out one, and I uh, just need to find the other one. But I thought that'd be a fun thing to do. Oh, thank you, Sophia. That's so sweet. You had a wonderful birthday. Even though your oven broke? Oh, my God. Is it okay now? Oh, yeah, Cappuccino. They can dance and stuff like I think if you follow or sub or stuff like that. Yeah, you can get them to uh, jiggle around. I gave you guys some tears as well today to split you up a little bit. Doodling with a computer mouse right now. <laughs> yeah, because you're charging your iPad, aren't you, hun? No, it didn't fix me. Oh, no. Well, that is a bit thin. It's nice. Maybe you're a bit bigger. Old school doodling. Also, Cleo, it's nice to see. You. I'm glad your stress with moving has sort of like been uh, sort of alleviated now. Because bless you, you were so stressed. Steph was telling me like, oh my god, Cleo's going through all this moving drama, and then like the next day she was like, oh my god, Cleo's found somewhere, and we're like, oh my god, Cleo's gonna be safe. Because again, you're basically you were basically going through what we were last year, and it's like for God's sake, what what is wrong with people like? uprooting them at Christmas? Like, do they get off to well, it or I something? think in Cleo's case it was more so because they put the rent up. Oh, at the Christmas day. though? I know, it's been fun. Putting the rent up at Christmas? Like, oh my god. It makes me mad. How do you zoom in? Uh oh, you can use the magnifying glass down here, Froyo, in the very bottom, and the tools on the left, or you can just use your scroll wheel on your mouse. Whichever's easier for you. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, you almost cried your sorry. Oh, that's all. Cleo, I'm just glad that you've managed to sort somewhere. That actually turned out to be better as well. That's so good. <laughs> Paprika, what do you want me to dress up as? Oh, my word. It can't be much worse than this one. The shame hat. Not a fan of that. Oh, you flattened it? Okay, you just let me know, Paprika, and then I'll whack it on for you. It's so much cheaper and barely smaller. That's amazing. Oh my god, that does not exist in this country. You're on the ground level. Oh, that's nice. Ground level's nice. Steph prefers it as well, obviously. You know, with her, uh, her hips and stuff, she prefers like a nice ground floor. Oh, that's cute. And Merry Christmas. Very crabbies. I'm having a look online to see if there's anything that's been busted in our area for cheaper. In this country, I doubt it. Um... It's hard to look. Mm. Do, 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 do. The ones that I find are always things like house shares. Oh! House shares is nasty. Are you guys all set for uh, Christmas this year? 
Steph keeps asking me, what do you want? I keep saying, I don't want nothing. She says, well, I'm not, not getting you nothing. She says, I don't want nothing. I don't want nothing. You and your mum are gonna- Oh, that's really sweet. You're gonna eat something together? That's very sweet. And then it's <gasps> it snowed on the first, Cleo. That's a sign. It's in the video discussion. Thank you, Paprika. Never go see. <laughs> Paprika, what the hell's that? Oh no, I know what you've done. No. <laughs> oh no. No. Let me go find it. Do, 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 do. Hold on, let me get stream avatars. I get, I'm going to need to knock you all off for a second so you can see. Hold on. Get down there. Get down. Get down there. Do, do. So I can put on my, like... My dress shirt. Wait, whoa! <laughs> Bless you, dear. People are gonna say they're fake. Look at the space between them. <laughs> oh my word! You could land a plane between those, couldn't you? <laughs> Do I look cute? Everyone keeps climbing up to see. Get down. Get away from my giant breasts. <laughs> Shoot. Get down. No. A ladder to the cleavage. Get away. <laughs> oh my god, Pepper, did you make that? Because it is. It's it's like so well done. <laughs> Breathe the boob. <laughs> you made it last night. Oh my god, well thank you. That's so sweet. I love that you guys like put the time and effort into actually like make things for it as well. You guys are very sweet. I've not found a listing for a place that would be fifty pounds cheaper on rent. Oh yeah. But it is quite a grotty place in the oh. and it looks like you have to sleep in like an unrenovated loft. Oh, it'd be so cold. Yeah, and I'm not sure if uh, the cost of like a moving van. Yeah, it would be would worth it. Be I don't want to sleep in an unrenovated loft. It'd be so cold. And the kitchen floor isn't tiled. Oh. It looks like they've just done half of it and thought, okay, yeah, we'll like, rent it. Yeah, it does really look like, because, like, one room looks nice, and the rest of it looks questionable. It's, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I, that's a no from me. Is that a no for you? And that's the only one that's uh, cheaper than a purpose. Oh, God. Do you have to eat your spaghetti sparkle? Ooh! Oh, what happened on this good? Did anything... It got up... What? It got updated? What? Is it like an aesthetic thing? <laughs> Visual and organisation... Ooh! Does it have like a proper dark mode yet? Instead of that like grey one?
You don't know how I feel about that mood. <laughs> yeah, maybe, right? Like some kind of fundraising thing. That would be nice. But I would like to get the Dogs with Jobs thing done first. Oh, thank you, Cactus. How are you doing? You haven't had... Oh, it's a tea one, sorry. That's really sweet. I mean, we've we got a couple. Um, uh, my mum actually gave us two cheap ones, but uh, we have we personally haven't bought any this year. Again, it's more so just to save money more than anything. And I keep to, like as, like we say with presents and stuff. I keep saying to Steph like, I don't want anything. You don't need to give me anything. But she's been very stubborn. He's like, I'm going to get you something, and I keep telling her, no, you don't need to give me nothing. She's like, I'm going to buy you. She says it like a threat, and she's like, I'm going to buy you something. It's like, oh yeah? You're in whose army? Love tea? Ice tea's okay, Sophia. Ice tea's okay. Steph likes warm tea and stuff. Oh, look where it disappeared. Is that ours? Or is that another one on our rod? Can you click on the pictures? That is ours, yeah. How can you tell? Oh, that does look a lot like our yeah, That's so weird. Oh, you can always tell as well because of the bathroom. Oh no, or is it? No, it might be a few doors down. Yeah, but it's the, the same thing, thing, yeah. I bet they're selling it because it has trouble with mould like the old one did. But that's the price of that one. It's uh, five pounds cheaper. Five pounds cheaper, oh, wow. Do, 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 do. You quick do all the froggy gremlin. Oh, Froggington, that's great. I love to have a proper look. I love a. Some all over the place today. I'll have a look at everyone's. Let me. Draw... I'll draw a bit more of mine first, then I'll come and have a look at everybody's. Sparkle, I'm exactly the same. Warm drinks to me are gross. I really don't like them. They keep me warm. And I associate them with, like, um. When you've got a cold and stuff, because that's when I only drink warm drinks. You know, like, Lem Sips and the stuff that you drink when you've got a cold. So I'm like, I don't want to drink that. That's gross. But Steph, she's she's like, ooh. What are they called? As long as it's cold, I really don't mind. Like, um, I've been drinking Sprite recently. That's nice. My really naughty one that I like is Coke, but that, you know, because that's really bad for me. It's very, very yummy. Uh, like juice stuff, that's nice. Oh, you have a hard time regular cactus? That's the same as Steph. Yeah, she definitely. In winter time as well, likes warm stuff just to keep warm. Yeah, and the syrup stuff, that's good too, yeah. Only warm drinks I have are soup and miso. See, Breathe, that's probably what I would do. I hate vampire. <laughs> you don't like bubble? Oh yeah, the carbonate staff's like that. She doesn't like bubbles either. She's not. She's not a fan. Uh, 
Now you love the bubbles. I I don't mind bubbles either. I think they're quite nice. I like the frog gremlin. <laughs> I like the lighting on him. What a clo what a cozy little friend. Did you oh that's fine, yeah no worries, Voltron. The stuff for first stuff for yeah, Ethan, if it's gone flat, if like I have like something fizzy that she really likes the taste of. Sometimes she'll wait till it goes flat and have a try of it, yeah. But as a rule, if she's able to choose what she wants, like, uh, say if we're out chopping, she'll always just instinctively choose uh, something that's flat, like, uh, anyway. She says that the bubbles, are, uh, they, they feel gross. I like uh, bubbles and bubble tea. Yeah, but that, we're talking, like, fizzy ones. Like carbonated, fizzy. Mm -hmm. The bubbles can hurt. Oh, <laughs> the bubbles hurt. Yeah, I feel like it's painful. That's why I don't like it. I don't like the bubbles. It hurts, and I can feel it like explode behind my eyes. It's, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so Steph says she can feel it explode behind her eyes, and that's why she doesn't like them. It must be a sensory thing. It sounds like it. Valid reason. Oh, hello, Wolfa. People are saying, oh, the cactus can uh, relate. Well, people like me. <laughs> like me. Just like you, dear. What are you doing here? But yeah, on the topic of like heating and stuff like that, I thought about doing like a fundraising stream, but then I'm like, oh, I've... we have to do for my uh, cave soon. Yeah, we? well, that's the thing. Yeah, well, we have to do one for that, and then it's like everyone's in the same boat. It's like, I don't know. I worry that it comes across as like entitled, like, oh, look, the streamers are like uh, asking for well, money. Then you do, like, missions, like, yeah, I mean, I guess. Are you drawing a flower? They can have a parting in the middle. That's where the flower can sprout out from. Yeah, because he's had the problem with flower, yeah. Oh, give me a bloody chance! <laughs> you can see steam, you can see your breath in that. Yeah, well that's, yeah, I guess so. Did you just draw a flower and leave? <laughs> well, it's up to it's up to you. No, oh fine. If you want to, if you if you want to color it in, you can. As if we're doing a romantic collab live. Oh my. Telling people you're trying to earn money for a normal human body function is not a bad thing. <laughs> you're nervous to say, oh, Brandon, that's very sweet. No, we appreciate you. Thank you. Regardless of where you watch it, you know, that's a huge help. No, we really appreciate it. Oh, you're having a lurk today, Jess? That's fine. You're making a start on your finals. Oh, my God. Good luck with it, of course. Yeah, finals, though. Oh, my God. Do, boop, 
Yeah, it's a movie. Like I say, um, this was be this was before we realised that the house was getting really cold. We wanted to do one for Steph because on the twelfth of December she's got her uh, dentist thing, and that's two hundred quid. And it's like, oh god, where am I going to magic that from? <laughs> We have each other. That's true. Oh, one of us dies to take a farm. Oh my god, that's so <laughs> grim. It's a poor joke. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Steph. Would Steph do commissions? I don't know, maybe. Using a drawing tablet. <laughs> Bro, there's definitely like, there's definitely a learning curve when you first start using it. Because you're like training like your hand-eye coordination sort of thing all over again. But you'll definitely get it, don't worry. Ask the dentist if they want a commission. <laughs> Steph commissions would get so many takers. It's just that I'd like to try and take the pressure off her with just how her uh, wrists and stuff are. I mean, I, I, I know they would be popular, but I'd be scared she'd get like a bunch of people asking for them. And then she'd get overwhelmed. <laughs> If you limit it, yeah, maybe. Oh, by the way, I was watching a vid from Dream Jelly yesterday about girls' flash games, and one of Steph's games was in it. Oh, which one? That's so cool. That's awesome, Sparkle. It was the guinea pig one. Oh, Calvin oh. story. Oh, Calvin story. We didn't know. We'll have to go. We'll have to like go and have a look. This is like news to us. It'll be so weird seeing someone's like actual reaction because back then people didn't used to. It didn't exist. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that. So sorry, drawing a little. Is he bar on that one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't you know which one's which? I don't which one. <laughs> You're a fake fan. That's Barax. He's the baby. Baron's the big one. The one where you customize the pig and change the color. Is that the hamster one? Oh, that one might be the dream hamster. Yeah, we played that on stream together as well, didn't we? I love Boron and Borax. They're my favorite OCs. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Some says I get Baron and Morax confused as well. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. I was going to try and put some uh... Unity Oster. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have something that we invented that's just easy to draw for you guys. If you, you know, if you're stuck and you need something. But yeah, like I say, with you know, uh, heating bills and stuff like that, we try not to talk about it too much because uh, it's depressing. Yeah, it is. We don't, we don't want to put a, you know, when you come to a stream, you don't want someone. Been a massive downer about stuff, do you? So we tend to keep it to ourselves. Oh my god, all that time, and it hasn't been charging my pencil, it can't have been in properly. 
No. Do you want to try? Maybe yours is on the way out. Do you want to try charging my one? Because I've got my one here. Do you want to, do you want to have a charge in mine? There you go. Try plugging that one. And see if it like pops up and says anything about it. Because it might need to connect that. Because it'll probably be synced with mine. So it says it's got like the same amount of battery as mine. Let me text to... Okay, sweet. Let's see how you go with that one. Hello, Phoenix. How are you doing? I'd like to come to a stream where I know the streamers aren't freezing, so you shouldn't feel bad. Ooh, okay, convey. No, that's fine. Oh my god, good, good luck with games. Oh, good luck with the mad games. And I've also made a little colour palette that I'm going to be putting out for the patrons. Yeah, another handmade one from uh, from Steph herself. Do, 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 do. Sophie says, I'm curious about the other artworks in the community stream. Can you show them? Yeah, sure. Hold on. Here we go. Oh my god, you guys have been busy. Look at all this. Look at the cold effect of the charger things. Oh, it'd have to be like, it can, but it'd have to be like super duper freezing. So I'm wondering if it's the weather that's like... Oh my god, you guys have been so busy! This is for you, Boron. <laughs> Boron. I bring you a gift, Boron. Oh, everything's looking so good. Oh, it's a little pig. Oh, it's a baby. You guys have been so busy. Oh my god. Oh my god, Froyo, you're doing it. You're doing it, Froyo. Froyo's been very brave. Froyo got a new drawing tablet today and is out here drawing. I think that deserves a round of applause. Whoa. That's a big deal. Big oh, you guys are doing the plants so well. Do -do. It's nice to see the different art I know, right? You're all so dang smart. It's definitely nice how uh, different people work with the same color palette as well. Mm -hmm. What's today's theme? It is plant. Yeah, plants. Color palette. Plants in this color palette we've got in the top left. Do, 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 do. Doing succulents. Hello, just joined, and I'm excited to draw. Hello, Duchess. It's nice to see you. Oh, we could give him like a little, like, uh, kind of like a daisy chain necklace. Do you, do you guys? Did you guys ever used to make those? As a kid, I wanted to make them. But I was too shy to ask the girls how they did them. Oh, oh can you show me how? That'd be so yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah, this was in like primary school. And I was like, I was like, oh, that's so cool. But I was way too shy to be like, oh, can you teach me how? Oh, well, it's like warmer again. And there's actually plants outside. I'll, I'll take you on a little desi making. Oh. oh, we'd have to film that. Teach me how to make them.
<laughs> is that one charging for you, dear? Yeah. Um, that one's it's already got one charge on it than what we have wanted. Really? Um, I wonder if your pencil's like on its way out. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on or if it was Because it's got such like a heavy grip thing on it, I wonder sometimes if it... Oh like, yeah, you might want to try charging it without, yeah. How to make Daisy chase? Oh my god! When when we like film it, Steph can do a tutorial and we can all learn together. I wanted this because like obviously the prompt is like plants and stuff. I wanted this to be like a little like goblin botanist. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted to try and do. A gobbo botanist. Do, 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 do. Did you get the uh, DLC for Pokemon Skull? No, no. Yeah, apparently that um, new Pokemon is from that. You know, the one in the... Oh, the one in the magazine. I was going to say, because I was like, what the heck's that? I, I didn't recognise that one at all. Do, 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 do. How does one go about Shadow? Um, in the pinned comment at the top of chat, there's a link in it, and uh, the whole, the entire like art program, so to speak, is in a browser. So if you follow that link, it'll open it up in a new window, and then you can just draw in that. But if you get stuck or if you have any questions, uh, just let me know, and I'll do my best to help you. See ya. Hello, Dank. You doing okay? Did you like how I coloured the eyes with my mouth? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was very sweet, dear. I like how at first you were like, get up there, and then you were like, fine, you can colour it. <laughs> I'm used to it with these guys. But like, when they... Sometimes they'll come over and just draw Among Us all over everything that I do. <laughs> you stupid. Everyone's like, oh, what's Adamo doing? Oh, let's draw Among Us. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, what's your little avatar wearing today? It's, uh, Paprika made it for me. It's a dress that shows my arms as boobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do doing it for the views today. <laughs> Got some cleave on show. <laughs> wow. Isn't it, isn't it nice? It's it's kind of like a like a, a seductive nighty. You can't see the panties. Where are where are they? Maybe my butt got hungry and ate them. <laughs> I'm a boob tuber. Boob tuber. Yeah, I think you've hidden the rest of your blaming office. <laughs> I've set my pants on fire. <laughs> it's a modesty bar. <laughs> oh no! Going commando. <laughs> really? Going commando for the views. Now all I need is a hot tub. Now. There we go. Ravens led you all away. Look at me. Look how beautiful I am. I like how Paprika's drawn the arms. My arms definitely look more normal like that at the side. That's the Among Us. Hello, Faith. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. I understand how that image works now. So they've drawn the arms that you see on, like, the left and right. Yeah, if you want, I can move it. I, if I move it away... Just real quick. Okay. And I put it up there. See, the arms is part of the outfit that they've made. <laughs> yeah. And they've turned my arms into boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it clever? Oh yeah, there are little panties there. <laughs> let, me, let me put my dress back on. 
Oh yeah, if I make it smaller and move it up. But then it looks like I've got like one bow hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm having a malfunction, don't look. Okay, there's many celebrities who've had these wardrobe malfunctions in their time. There we go. See? The arms double as how a sagging boob would look with age. Did you get me the lid first? No, I've got it over oh, here. Okay. Yeah. You're fine, don't worry. Yeah, nip a slip, oh lord. Yeah, basically. Is he having a play? Oh yeah, there he goes. What? 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 People with glasses and piercings is peak. They're so aesthetic. Steph's definitely one of those people. Shout out to everyone who has glasses and piercings. Or one or the other. Yes. Well, you've got your ears pierced, haven't you? Then I've like healed off as well. Okay, so you're like half cool. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, you're all cool. Well done, guys. I, too, am half cool. I'm not cool at all. I don't have glasses or piercings. Not everyone had their ears pierced to the baby. I was one of those people. Oh, this could be like a like a corset sort of thing. So it's nice to get back. To oh, that's just that's wonderful. And we got a monocle. Bring those back. I really miss ordering pizza, right? <laughs> you miss having pizza, dear. Yeah. Well, we'd have to do like a pizza stream. I know, but remember we, when we did that? Right? Money from my tape, so. <laughs> I've made my bed now, I must lie in it. You miss having fried pizza? I've never heard of that before. I mean, I, I, I can guess what that is. Is it good? Victorian drink, yeah, bring those back. And like, uh, like Victorian like suits and coats and stuff as well. That'd be cool.
It's super good. Unhealthy, but it sounds really good. I want to look like a Dickinson character. Oh, Rethan, that sounds amazing. Three pounds for one? That's amazing. Preston. Bye bye. What are you doing? Nice they were cuddling next to the heater and they've woke up and they're like, oh, cuddles, oh. But like they love cuddling each other, really. It's just when they wake up, they get really grumpy. Oh, I'm not cuddling you. Ooh. The medieval costume? Oh, that's awesome. They used to have those medieval costumes at that castle that we went to, but um, I think because of COVID, they had to stop doing them, which was a shame. Yeah, mom is touching me. And the mom is mimicking me. Mom is mimicking me. Stop, stop. <laughs> That's literally their relationship. They're like brothers. Ninety percent red dank, I love it. That's using the big brain. What's Lethal Company? Right. The Ishigra. Oh, is that what it is? For comedy, because it reminds you of Fan Phasma Phantasma. That's the ghost one, right? It's kind of like that. Ooh. I feel like I've made the head too big. Good with my rat fat head. <laughs> Let's see if we can change the size of it. You're too much of a coward to play. Do you guys scare easily? Weird. 
Jump scares don't get me, but eerie atmospheres do. Cleo, you loved it. Confused with what happened to Malev. I just made. Oh, it's oh no, it's just me messing. Don't worry. Not to worry, dear. The color palette looks good. Oh, I can't take credit for that. Steph, Steph made it. <laughs> I like yeah, yeah. I mean, come on. If I was gonna pick it, it I would say like, oh, look at all these pinks I've chosen. They'll all be great. <laughs> So yeah, it was Steph that picked it, but she did do a really good job. I can't do proper horror at all. I'm not much of a fan of it either. Not necessarily from a, like, I get scared standpoint, because I probably would get scared of it in all honesty, but... If I'm going to sit down or what and watch something or play something or whatever, I'd much rather have something that I know I'm going to enjoy. You know, and that's not to say it's not enjoyable, because there's people that do, but... It's definitely not for me. You forgot, Froyo, it's only there if you want it, don't worry. What are you drawing, hun? I don't think I've found what you're drawing yet. It's a pretty little doodle, but you'll know when you find it. <gasps> it's a pretty doodle, oh my god. Where is it? Where is it? Where is she? <gasps> is it Mr. Plant? Yeah, I did draw Mr. Plant. <laughs> I'm not kissing you, Bara. <laughs> is it Baby's first Christmas? Yeah. How could you tell? They are very Boron and Borax colours, aren't they? Because they are a little like goblin men. Oh, it's so fun seeing everything that you guys are doing. You're all so good, aren't you? You're all so dang good. Right, sure, we've got some colour on this using the colour palette, no less. It's some drawing pot, Jackson. It's because of the lips. <laughs> Look at those kissable lips. <laughs> Are we making Boron and Borax tickets? I don't know, because, like, I, I always think that Boron and Borax is just, like, a fun little thing. I've been exposed. And, and, like, <laughs> and like, um... It's you guys that get like super attached to it, so you know I can look into making some if 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 you guys want them, yeah. Well, the Borax are borrowed much. Yeah, yeah. Does it come into town for this Christmas? I can make like a you know like we did for that blobfish one. Try and make like a sticker sheet of them, just doing different stuff. Boron and Borax dogs. <laughs> With 
Who are they? Duchess Boron and Borax. Oh god, it's a long story. It's just like you a... have a video up on the on the, on the, the channel about them. They were just a silly doodle that we did, and people got very attached to them very quickly. They're like goblin babies. Like test tube goblin babies, weren't they? And you asked me to draw them in the womb, and it looked like they were being abducted by aliens. <laughs> Hello, Doodles. How are you doing? You okay? Creston. Can you hear Creston going at it? Be Patches wants to have a nap, and Creston's like, no, I want to play. The origins of Barn and Barrex is the funniest stream you've seen. <laughs> there was apparently someone who was really upset about it, and I don't understand why. Yeah, someone someone unsubscribed because of uh, Barn and Barrex. They they claimed that we, as a collective, were making fun of unborn babies, and they said that, that I can't watch you anymore, and they unsubscribed. And Steph got really Steph took it to heart. She was like, "Oh my god, did did we like offend someone?" It's like, no, of course not. Well, the thing is, because I have autism, there's all kinds of social situations that I get into where I know, I but that one's like no way. I know, but I've been doing like so many like mental gymnastics trying to understand what it is that I did like wrong in that situation. I can't understand. <laughs> Dank says, help, that's so funny. Unborn babies don't have feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even trying to make a, a statement on unborn babies. That's, that's it. Yeah, some people just want to take something and the unborn spin it. goblin babies, it's fictional. <laughs> yeah, just trying to make something really serious out of something really not serious. But Steph was like, like oh, I didn't come across this as I was trying to make a political statement. But even then, what kind of I'm boring and boring <laughs> political? Have you seen <laughs> them? <laughs> I'm doing my best, on me. I'm trying to understand. <laughs> Froyo says, last time I checked, unborn babies aren't green. <laughs> But the thing is, uh, I didn't recognise... I mean, obviously, you know, when you get comments and stuff, it has, like, a username and an icon attached to it. Yeah, and I, did, I didn't recognise it. Yeah, I didn't recognise it from YouTube or from here. Rethin says, Steph, it's okay to be less understanding and empathetic for people who don't make sense like them. <laughs> Paprika says, doodle date cancelled for Boron and Borax. <laughs> well, if there was, like, genuinely a problem with them and someone explained it to me. But someone would have said by now, if... if... If Boron and Borax had, like, political undertones, like, someone had pointed out, like, if Boron was wearing, like, a MAGA hat or something like that, <laughs> then, then, you know, they would point it out, but... Someone's gonna draw that one. <laughs> what, Borex are in Make America Great Again. <laughs> oh, these are looking really cute, guys. Oh my god.
I like these garbos. Look. <laughs> Look at these friendly chaps. Look how clean this one is as well. It's so good. I don't know, guys. You need to put your put your handles so I can say how good you are. Oh my god, poor Jackson. <laughs> Lemon Clinge, it was you. It was you, your goblins. Projects, would you like to buy a car? We'll have to do like a Pot Jackson themed one one day. Oh my like, god, a Pot Jackson themed like stream. Or like a Terrence one and go through all the characters. Oh, that'd be sweet. All of our cursed OCs that we've made. Yeah, give them some love because they're getting blood. <laughs> if you're going to give uh, Catcher's Impress and a handful of floppies, it's the getting very hecked up. And they acting up together, okay, I'll go and have a look at them. I'm coming over there, boys. You better be behaving. <laughs> that doesn't sound like you're behaving. Skinny drama. No. Skinny drama. Okay, I'm here. You guys like the idea of drawing gay furries? Counts. Yeah, well, that's true, yeah. I was definitely thinking of drawing more serious fan art of them. Ooh. You guys are always welcome to draw fan art, so that's really sweet. Don't forget Lawrence and Whiskers, <laughs> they are a good one. <laughs> Whiskers, their adopted child. Well, anthros, I honestly, I need to as well. The only time I ever really do draw them is when I draw Terence and Lawrence, which is not very often.
through the head. Which one should we go? I've got that nice red looking one. Should we try that one? Or maybe that'd be good for the outfit. I don't know. How do you move things with the lasso? Once, once you've got the lasso like selected, I think you have to choose the tool that's this one in the very top left, the move one. Or if you press V, if you're using a keyboard, it's one at the very top. You got to figure out Anthro. Anthro is this big money, isn't it? And ponies. Is My Little Pony still very popular? I don't think it's as popular as like what it used to be. Didn't they all become human and go to university or something and then people weren't that into it? That was still quite a long time. Oh, was it really? Yeah. Since then, you've seen like the more recent thing that they've done. They've sort of like killed off all the characters. They killed the ponies. Well, not killed them off, but they got rid of them. My Little Pony, the glue factory's magic. Let's go make some magic in the glue factory, Applejack. Yeehaw! It was, oh no, you're welcome. Yeah, like I say, if you guys have any questions, like learning about it and figuring out where everything is, yeah, just let me know and I'll do my best to help you out. Oh, Stephanie, you're so welcome, mate. Well, your drawing is so cute as well. It's lovely, it's, uh, lovely to see you. I know you're a busy bee, so... It's always a pleasure to see you. The show got bad. Oh, really? So that's... It sort of, like, reached its peak and now it's still going, but people just aren't resonating with it anymore. Oh no, it did end? Are any of you guys going to watch the live action Zelda movie that they're making? Are you guys excited to see Chris Pratt as Link? <laughs> you know they'll do it. <laughs> They need, like, if it's going to be Link, like, they need, like, a scrungly boy, don't they? What about the guy that plays Loki? He's quite a scrungly dude. If he was Link. Like, Loki and Link, you know, it's kind of similar. Now, Jack Black would be, like, the stable man. You know, like, the stable guy that looks like uh, Mario? Jack Black would be him. The Rock. <laughs> Bald-headed Link in, like, car keys. <laughs> What are you doing to those bones? <laughs> Help me more. <laughs> I've been memorized. <laughs> you fell. <laughs> I fell and I cannot get up. Look at 
are you emphasizing them? Looks like I just took the bus to Titty City. <laughs> if it was like, if they made like the Zelda movie in the 90s, they'd have like Macaulay Culkin as Link, and Danny DeVito would be like Tingle. Or maybe um, the guy that played Uncle Buck. Is it John Candy? He'd be in it as well. Have you seen on top of her head as well? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> he bushed her. <laughs> he bushed him. <laughs> who's, who's John Candy? That really makes me feel old. He was like an actor that did a lot of like uh, comedy films in like the 80s and 90s, but he passed away. Like Uncle Buck's like one of his most famous ones. You didn't realize they were making. They are making like an actual one. Life with. Wasn't he in trains, planes, and automobiles as well? You don't know the name. Oh, you might have seen a film where like with him in and just not know his name. Get out of, get out of there, Borax. It's my turn. <laughs> I need to go brush up on my uh, Baron of Borax lot to learn which one's which. <laughs> no, Sam's got it right. Yeah, you're drawing Borax, the small one with the heavy brow. No, I thought Borax was the big one. No, Bor Boron is the big one. I'm pretty sure it is. She's going to look now. She's not convinced. If it's something you've drawn, that doesn't count. <laughs> because you're confused to begin with. See, on that one, I've said that the big one's far X and the little one's far X. Yeah, but you've drawn that and you're confused. I'm sure I was the one who was out for the next sweet one. I wonder who will play Ganondorf in this movie as well. What about uh, Aquaman? You know the buff dude? See, that's your own handwriting. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Barrex is the big guy. Baron is the little guy. Baron. Jason Momoa. Yeah, he'd be a good Ganondorf because he's got like the body for it. You've got the body for her as well. Whatever it is we're talking about, yes. Who will play? Who? <laughs> who is Chris Pratt? A man that's in a, uh, too many things. I think he's suffering from overexposure. Jason Momoa is Gandalf. You know it would work, especially if they were going for like the Tears of the Kingdom look with um. You know, where he's really buff and he's got his long hair? It worked perfect. Chris Platt is playing Garfield. I know. <laughs> and people aren't happy, are they? Why, why, I, there are so many people that could do that, but why him? Let me do it. I would say, what up, fellow cats? It's me, Garfield. You deleted, we're trying to delete the layer where I'd call it in the eyes. I did. Okay, so. I'm not a hater. 
It was a romantic collab. British Garfield. Well, there is a British Garfield, isn't there? Called um. Like... No, no. There was. He's called Heathcliff. Heathcliff is like British Garfield, and it's it's bad. Does anyone here know who Heathcliff is? I'm not sure. Maybe if I saw a picture. <laughs> Unicorn says, "Oof, Heathcliff." <laughs> Not a clue? I do, he likes ham. <laughs> That's true. I haven't thought of him in a while. Oh my god, boy, Heathcliff. You only know about him from video essays. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh yes, Heathcliff, I know you from your video essays. Like what? I mean I mean what? There's an identity. He has an evil British twin for you. <laughs> I love how Adam continues on with this picture while we're just drawing on top of it. <laughs> you. The amount of times this happens, I'm used to it by now. Did you see that I drew Warpot Jackson at the top as well? Yeah, he's cute. Normally you'll get like some Among Us ones, you'll get like Faith come and draw an Among Us character with a big ass. Uh, you get a lot of Among Us, stuff like that. I don't mind. It's just nice to hang out with you guys. It's been a while since you've seen a car rocket. Oh, but that, Cleo, that's because car rocks are boring. Oh no, some's vanished. Some's vanished? Or at least the little uh, bar exit was on your character's shoulder. Oh, some, you can leave him there, I don't mind. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank goodness. Do how dare you? What? That I don't like car rocks and they're stinky? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Like, oh, I'm looking for my friend. Oh. Attach like a big old rocket to him. There you go. You should know some that you've got Steph drawing away, drawing away with like a huge grin on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Boring and boring, so funny. <laughs> oh, you are a big helper, aren't you, dear? Arocs are so marketable. Is that what it is? 
Other than Karax being cute and small, what else have they got going for them? Karax. 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 And what? Horn. Karax. Horn. Horn. The poo, the po, really. You guys are gonna die on that hill. They give you free poo. Oh, you wanna make a Karak scope? That okay, that's cute. Free poo. Oh my god, I still want to see that the animal that did that massive poo that I accidentally stepped in when I took the trash oh, out. I never got you said that. <laughs> like that that wasn't no ordinary animal. That was like it was bigger than like a human's. It was so big. Human. <laughs> oh my god, Sparkle, I don't know what I'd do, because like when I do the bins, especially at the moment, it's dark. Imagine, like, in, like, underneath, like, a uh, lamppost light, there's, like, someone just squatting there. <laughs> what is that? It's a monster! It's like, Arr! Wombats do have square poo. I used to think elephants did, but it, it turned out it was a dream that I had. For like ages, literally like decades, I thought elephants pooped in squares as well. It's a poo cryptid. <laughs> it's like that one that... When you when you look away from it, it teleports. With this one, when you look away, it poos. <laughs> you have to keep looking at it to stop it pooing. <laughs> Go look at the ghost. What 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 what? am I missing? The ghost. Where where is it? Is it in a different one? Number one? Let's go over here. Oh, that, that, wow. And you've stuck to the palette as well. That's really cool, Trash. We love a ghost that's comfy. That's really, really cool. Isn't that nice? And thanks for putting... Yeah, thank you for putting your handles and stuff as well. Very important. Like, oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Like, if you guys are taking the time to draw cute stuff, make sure you put your names. Oh, Pony, that's awesome as well. Oh, that's it's crunchy. It's a crunchy. And there's shadows. You guys are doing such a good job, aren't you? Oh, my little bourbon mouse. I like how he's a mushroom mouse and he's like, I, I'm going to eat you. You love the purple color palette? Again, Steph, it was Steph that picked the colors. She's done such a wonderful job. That's really pretty, too. Oh, and that, oh my god, look at all the wonderful stuff you guys have done. Oh, wow, those are very pretty as well. Oh my god, is that a gnome? It's a right gnome. <laughs> He looks quite gnomey, and he looks mad. Oh, did I miss one? Hold on. Oh, that's really cute. And there's Froyo. Froyo, you've done a great job. Again, this is like Froyo using the drawing tablet for like the first time. Is that sexy Garfield? Faith, are you drawing sexy Garfield? He's like, oh, I hate Mondays, but you, I love you. John gets up and sees that. <laughs> oh! Get him away! 
Not Chris Pratt. <laughs> That's a really good Garfield, though. That's really well done. Oh, that's adorable. You got a little red and they got like a little goblin friend. And isn't the hair on that really pretty? Look at that. Like, where the hell did that come from? What program are you using? That's nuts. Look how shiny the hair is. That one's Bill Murray's Garfield. Oh, that freak, you're so good. It does, it does look a little bit like uh, Bill Murray. It's the eyes. <laughs> he did a square. Why is it the size of his head? <laughs> he looks so proud of it. I might I'd be proud of myself too. He's just dropped a massive turd the size of his head. Yes. Yes, I make square poop. It even come with little nuggies. <laughs> I do square poo. He was really backed up. God, look at that. It's like his bum, like one of those Play-Doh shaped things. Is that why it comes out as a perfect cube? Does he look like a wombat? Yeah, totally. I've never drawn a wombat before. I've seen people like uh, pick them up. And I always get curious like how heavy they are. Because they look so dense and like packed. They remind me of patches. He does look a bit like Patches, and Patches has got quite a big nose. Because it was cold earlier, I got them out, and we were having a cuddle on a blanket, and Patches was giving me some smudges. You see, it? They're, they're cuddling again. Oh, the little baby's next to the heater. <laughs> Is he pooping wheat a bit? <laughs> My dad once held a koala. He said it was heavy but very warm and fluffy. Are koalas the ones that like give you dysentery or something? Koalas can give you chlamydia. Can they? Apparently. I learned that on the internet. Isn't that like a sex disease? <laughs> what are people doing to them? I think it's just like pre-installed. Pre-installed chlamydia, that sounds terrible. It can be passed to you, that's terrifying. How did they get it? What did they do? Are the koalas like sleeping around? It's an epidemic for them. They even have a chlamydia center. Is Rethin, is that true? <laughs> is that true, Rethin, or are you pulling my leg? Oh, is that a little dung beetle? That reminds me of Mrs. Poorall, one of my Pokemon. Oh, from Pokemon, yeah, Mrs. Poorall. Mrs. Poorall. It is true, for, really? They have two pins. Oh my god. I have round poos. <laughs> like between you and the uh, the dung beetle, are you guys like making little Tetris blocks out of poos? Use that dog. 
The ads are becoming jump scares. Listen, those are jump scares that help me pay for heating. Financial jump scares. Yeah. <laughs> My favourite kind of jump scare. <laughs> The ads glitch out and keep replaying? Oh my god, okay, that's uh, that's annoying. I, I guarantee that we won't get paid extra for them. I'm trying to draw a bit more zoomed out so I can keep an eye on what Steph's doing, because that one bat's really cute. At least we're helping you out. Oh, you guys always help out. The acceptable kind of financial jump scares. I'm so glad all you guys are here. Have I seen the plant? Oh, Bower Bird, is that you? Oh my god, it's a pixel one. Look at that. You can really get in Bower Bird's business. Look how much you can zoom in on that. That's crazy. It's so tiny. I never thought of doing that. That'd be a fun challenge to do with you guys one day, where we we all have to do like pixel art versions of what we would draw. Steph would be really good. Steph's very good at pixel art, you know. I used to do pixel art commissions back in the day. It's true. Definitely have to make, though, uh, some kind of Boron and Borax thing, then. If you guys are that hungry for it... Hungry. We're hungry, okay. I'll have a look, see. I love how much space there is on, like, the other furry canvas that's compared to the spot one where we've, like, jammed in. I like, I think it's cute, though, you know, when it's, like, super dense. I think it's cute. But like I say, make sure... Oh, that's adorable! Is that a ferret? It's so fuzzy. That's, that's so cute looking. Look at that. That's amazing. How's the color? Oh, yeah, everything. I was talking about it um, before you came in. Every, all of them, all the roughs are done. And uh, I scanned them in today. So tomorrow is like when I start... Uh, Hopefully inking them all. And then I need to do the cover. But then we should be we should be ready to go. Is that Barrex as a little car rack? Oh, oh it's adorable! Yeah, on the right hand side. <laughs> no, I'm just a small little goblin. <laughs> what is that? Should we see what the other ones are doing? Oh my god, <laughs> Henry? Is he a fly? I like Henry. Is it true that flies only stop flying to do poos? Is that, is that true? 
don't know, they always seem to start to rub their hands together. <laughs> oh yeah, they go. <laughs> you remember the funky bug song? That yeah. <laughs> That's classic step editing. AJ, that's so cool! Like, it's so different from, like, what I've seen you do before, isn't it? Yeah, that I really like the way the bugs come out. They stop to piss you off, Reethan. <laughs> they do it just to make Reethan mad. Yeah, that's so cool! I'm trying to make sure I see everyone's stuff. There's ponies. <laughs> I hate that fact, sorry. Ooh, that's a nice mushroom. Mushrooms aren't plants. Oh, but they're more than welcome. The colored uh, palette works so well with it, though, doesn't it? That looks... Mm. I want to eat it. Would Elf and Goblin be a fair f Oh! Oh, wow, the Garfield looks really cool. Oh, oh my god. He's like, mm. Mm. Oh, there's wolfers. And throw your throats. Oh, oh my god, look at that. <laughs> I like this dude. <laughs> Tell me your secrets, tree man. He's like, please. Stop trying to stop eating my apples, no. Do, 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 do. You guys are doing such good stuff. Oh, Duchess, your little mousy friend's very cute. I love this man. <laughs> I love this man. <laughs> It's very cute looking, isn't it? You guys have done the colour palette stuff so well. You've done such a good job. Where's, where's the one I'm working on? I think it's down hell. Oh. Jesse, you're having a noodle break? Oh my. I've eaten so many noodles these past few days. What flavour did you get? Do you guys have favourite flavoured noodles? I found this really cheap brand. But you'll laugh at the name. But they taste really good. Do you want me to try and find you a picture? And I'll put it on screen for you. Let's see if I can find them. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh yeah, there's there's one. Hold on, let me get that up there. Has that worked? What kind of file formats that? Why can't you drag pictures from Google anymore? Like, who did we upset that we can't drag them? Do do. Do, do. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, let me see if I can get this one on screen for you. Yeah, here we go. Guys, can I can I interest you in some cockanoo? <laughs> I didn't even realize it until I bought them. I was like, oh, jeez. That's the Twitch thing. Kaka? Kaka noodles? I need to try and make it... That's a really big picture. Hold on.
There they are. Kaka noodle do. Oh my god. It's Kaka. Oriental instrument noodles. Kaka. Chicken Kaka noodles. What is the what does that say? Aroma Frango. Sounds like sounds like Simlish. Do, 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 do. It's coca? No, it's definitely coca. Coca noodles. I had some beef ones, and they were really, really nice. Like, I really enjoyed them. I can't make my brushes bigger anymore. Oh, maybe it's because we're at 300 um, DPI. That would probably explain why. You can't get pot noodles in America? Yeah, they're a British friend. Land of the free, my bum. That's crazy. Oh, do I click on it to make it bigger? Wait, what if I color picked from there? What is that? No, I don't want that one. Do you mean noodles that you cook in a pot, Sparkle? That's very cute. Oh no, I've drank the apple pencil again already. <laughs> Although it was only half charged. You've drawn so much stuff, haven't you? Maybe that is just like with me using it. Like so it. much, yeah, maybe. I mean, you're welcome to use my one, hand. Now, a pot noodle, Sparkle? It's, it's a brand of noodles that you can get here. And they come in like their own little like plastic pot thing. You want to know a fun fact about me? Hold on. I mean, we, need to inter we need to interrupt this to learn a cool fact about Steph. Yes, dear. When I started at my secondary school, um, in our art lesson, we were told we were allowed to decorate the front covers of our sketchbook. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I drew a pot noodle on mine. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I had a friend that always reminded me of, can you remember when you introduced yourself by drawing a pot noodle on the front of your art book? <laughs> you don't even eat them that often. That's so I used to. weird. Based Steph. <laughs> There's your staff fact. I hope you all enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, they're like an instant noodle. And um, they're very popular over here. I love decorating our jatters and stuff. Oh. I don't think I ever, I don't think our school really did that. Like, encouraged you to decorate them and stuff. Okay. Was that like a common thing where you guys went to school? Were you allowed to decorate your books and stuff? Only in art class. Oh, okay. I guess that does. Oh, well, I, having said that, though, no, even, even in art class, he didn't let us. No.
Decorating anything with the one. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the same here. You did with your planner. Oh, Rita, that's cute. You got, oh my god, you got punished for it? If you if you hear crunching Steph today Steph got sent from uh one of her friends some Chex mix which she's never had before. It's she, really crunchy. She was sent the cheese one, the cheese Chex mix, and she's been going like ham on it. I like Crunchy. It's really sad story. What would you rate it? Would you would what would you rate Chex Mix out of ten? It's good because if you close your eyes, <laughs> the, uh, it's crunching. What would you rate it out of ten? She rates it. It's good because if you close your eyes, you can feel it crunching out of ten. <laughs> we had to show our notebooks. We're full to a teacher before giving new ones. Oh my god, Ethan, that's so me! Crunch out of ten. Do you guys like your Chex Mix? Are we going to try the garlic flavored ones? Oh, do they do different flavors? Ooh! See, that's something we don't get here, so, uh... Well, in shops anyway, it's not it's not easy to get hold of. Do they sell it on like Amazon or anything? Yeah, that's why I ran. Sam got me these. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'd have to see if we can get you some. What's a Chex Mix for you? It's basically like a little... It's like a bag of like crunchy things. So it's got like little pretzel things in, little biscuit things in. And uh, the one that Steph's got, it's like a bag of all these different things, but they're all cheese flavoured. She's been having like a great time. In your guys' opinion, like, what is, if we stick with cheese, right, what is the best cheese-flavoured snack? They used to make these ones in this country uh, called knickknacks, and uh, they used to do a cheese one, but they don't anymore. That one was, like, amazing. I loved those. Cheese it party there. Cheese boom buggles bugles. Yeah, I've had those. Those are really good. Cheesy nat. Oh my god, it's been ages since I had like a good cheesy nat. Oh my god. Oh, what's it? Steph's a big fan of what's it too. Yeah, she likes them. She calls what's it, and I think this is like a Steph thing. <laughs> she, she calls what's it a good um, bedtime crisp. And if you don't, if you don't know what a bedtime crisp is, it's a crisp that's acceptable to eat, typically about an hour before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. But some crisps are definitely not bedtime crisps. Quavers, they're also acceptable. Wants it. But like McCoy's, for example, no, you can't oh, eat those God. before bed. Have, to have you had the new giant? Yes, Ethan, I've tried them. Yeah, they are really nice. I am quite a fan of those. You miss prawn cocktail? What's it? You can get prawn cocktail quavers here again. I don't know if they're like worth a shot. She's in her element right now. You should see her. She's covered in blankets. She's got yeah. She's got her hat on, her headphones, and she's just covered in Chex Mix. <laughs> you having a good time there, sweetheart? <laughs> Do 
It's so, oh, really, really thin. I haven't seen prawn watsits in like uh, a hot. I haven't seen them in ages. Thinking about it. Oh my god, the art you made so good. Aren't you guys cool? You made such cool stuff. Now, my chickadees. The time has come for me to run away for now because I need to sort I need to sort something for dinner. So thank you for hanging out and drawing with me today. I might try and do an extra stream this week, so uh, if I do, I'll let you know on Discord, so make sure you're in there. Uh, if I don't see you for the rest of the week, we'll be uploading on Sunday. And then we'll be back streaming again on the Monday. So thank you again for all your support and hanging out and doodling with me. Have a lovely week. And I'll see you very soon, okay? Bye-bye.